This is Ranjit from Shankara AS Academy. Today we discuss about uh, RBA Grade B 2022 notification. Students, uh, many candidates they are expecting uh, RBA Grade B notification now is coming out. So that uh, we'll discuss about all those things, age criteria, qualifications, and uh, what are the salaries, uh, I mean, uh, roles and responsibility uh, in Grade B offices. Then after that, uh, what are the syllabus, how to crack the examination, we'll discuss about everything. And before that, uh, uh, your form filling, I mean, RBA grade B, uh, I mean, uh, uh, fill the form so that uh, many uh, persons, they say like that, uh, whether you belongs to UPSC category, I mean, UPSC uh, candidate or uh, belongs to UPSC candidate or economics candidate, these people are only, uh, I mean, uh, they can attend one, only RBA grade B examination. Other students, they are never try to attend the RBA grade B examination. So because uh, these, uh, those who are can, I mean, coming from uh, UPSC, uh, Background student or economic background student, they only crack the examination. Other student, they are not cracking the examination. So these are the, uh, I mean, uh, wrong information is going on. So that's what uh, I say here. RBA grade B exam is common to all the students because uh, even uh, history student and uh, other non-economic students, other UPSC non-background student, they can able to write the examination because uh, they are asking only the basic level of the question. They are never asking in-depth uh, uh, questions, so they are asking only basic level of the question. Most of the question, uh, it covers from economics and finance and management. Finance and management, uh, uh, if supposed to be, if you started like a fresher, you can able to grasp all those things because uh, the basic thing is given in the finance management, the 50 percentage of the question asking from the basic level. The remaining 50 percentage of the question, they are asking uh, uh, some part of the financial, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, finance and the economics, socioeconomics. So that uh, we'll see the RBA, everyone can apply the examination, not only for UPSC background student and economic background students. This is common to all the students. This is common to all the students. They can, I mean, uh, whoever to willing to this uh, RBA grade B exam, you can apply uh, RBA grade B. So that uh, we'll see one by one. First of all, uh, RBA notification. Um, actually, notification uh, came out 28th of March, uh, so that uh, till April 20, April 18th, uh, you have, I mean, uh, uh, online registration of application and payment. So, I mean, this is 6 o'clock, this is very important because many say like that 12 p.m. Actually, the 6 o'clock till 6 o'clock, uh, that is, our, I mean, closing date, the last date of uh, April 18th. Then last date of receipt of application, phase one online examination, May 28th, so 2022. Then phase two, uh, you have a paper one, paper two, paper three. We'll discuss about later what is paper one, paper two, paper three. So June 25th, tentative date is given. Then uh, after that, uh, officer in grade B, DR, D, P, E, R. So if some students, uh, they asking question, whether I can uh, apply both. Because some other qualification is given, so based on the qualification, you can apply for uh, general as well as uh, DEPR or DSIM. So that uh, Department of uh, Economic uh, uh, Policy Research. And the next one is uh, Department of Statistical Investment, Man I mean uh, Information Management. So these are the posting is given. Then um, officer in grade uh, B general, 109 uh, general category and 32 for scheduled cash. 15 for uh, uh, ST and uh, OBC 59, EWS 23. Total number of posts is 238. Of course, this is a huge post because when we compare into the previous year, uh, only 100 posts or even 97 posts is also uh, uh, they given. So that uh, when I compare to the last year, of course, 238 is a huge number of posts in uh, RBA for the general category. So the next one is nothing but uh, offices in grade B. Uh, so that uh, vacancy under 11. Then uh, just scheduled cast is 4, then tribe uh, ST 5, uh, 5 posting is there. So when I compare to the previous year, of course, this is also huge, right. So the next one, and next one, the age criteria. So age criteria is minimum 21 years, uh, maximum 30 years, right. So age relaxation, SEST 5 years, OBC 3 years. Even general category like uh, PWBD. Uh, 10 years and SEST 15 years, OBC 13 years. Um, so that uh, OBC relaxation uh, 3 years is given. So you can be able to write a maximum 33 years of age. But a general category, uh, that particular belong, those who belongs to general category, they can be able to write only 20, between 21 to 30 years. Right. So age criteria. 
Uh, next one is uh, uh, minimum, what is the qualification required to uh, fill the form? So that uh, graduation in any discipline with minimum 60 percentage mark. So that this is uh, mandatory 60 percentage mark. So many say like that the CPGA. So in that CPGA like uh, you may secure 6.75 percentage of the mark. So if it is 60 percentage means 6.75. So we have to secure 6.75 out of 10 CPGA. So that uh, the next one is nothing but uh, post graduation. If supposed to be if you are not secure 60 percentage of the mark. Uh, many said like that whether we uh, able, I mean uh, whether we are uh, uh, eligible or not. So or post graduation in any discipline with minimum 55 percentage mark. If you are not secured minimum 55 percentage in PG, so you are not eligible for this examination. So that either you are secured like 60 percentage UG or you, you can secure like 55 percentage in PG. So you people are eligible for this examination. Then next one is officer in grade B DEPR, a master degree in economics, finance or PGDA, MBA with a specialization in economy and finance with minimum 55 percentage and SEST 50 percentage is minimum required. So many students they say like that uh, uh, they are eligible for both the post, can we apply for the both the post, of course you can able to apply both the post. You can apply for grade B and uh, uh, grade B DEPR and grade B general or grade B general DASM, you can apply any one of these two. So DEPR, DASM, you can apply any one, but uh, general uh, RBA grade B general common to all, so that you can apply for any two of the post, among three, any two of the post you can apply it, right. The next one grade B uh, DASM, right, so statistics, a yeah, master degree in stats, mathematics stats, then mathematical economics, econometric uh, statistic and information, applied statistics and uh, information with uh, informatics with 55 percentage mark. So 50 percentage ACST, P, uh, other categories. So that uh, next one. So this is nothing but phase one examination uh, paper. The first one is uh, general awareness uh, around 80 question, they asking 80 questions. Uh, quantitative aptitude 30 question, English language 30, reasoning 60, total 200 question. Uh, I mean uh, the, here uh, RBA which is not mentioned uh, sectional timing, so what they said sectional timing which is mentioned later, but uh, we have uh, uh, in the previous year uh, a time allotment, so that is what I put a uh, time. So this, we have a sectional timing also, so that uh, clearly mentioned RBA it would be, uh, I mean uh, um, I notified later so that definitely we have uh, sectional timing so that in the last year uh, sectional uh, uh, cutoff I mean sectional timing is nothing but general awareness 25 minutes, quantitative aptitude 25 minutes, English language 25 minutes and reasoning 45 minutes except reasoning the rest of the three session so you have uh, 25 minutes of time they provided uh, 25 minutes of time so reasoning uh, they provided 45 minutes of time right so total 120 minutes. Uh, later we discuss about the uh, topic and uh, what are the strategy and what, how much of uh, time we are going to spend uh, each session. So it will be discussed later. Next one, this is phase two, uh, paper one is, I mean uh, phase one is uh, only for the qualification. So those who are eligible for uh, phase one, those who are clear the section cutoff as well as uh, overall cutoff because uh, in phase one we have a sectional cutoff as well as we have a overall cutoff. So if you, uh, I mean, uh, you, if you cleared both sectional cutoff and overall cutoff, then only you are qualified for the second level, phase two, all right. So that uh, uh, this is very important because uh, the sectional cutoff and overall cutoff, uh, because many students, uh, they think about that uh, only they, they consider overall cutoff, actually the sectional cutoff is also there, right. So sectional cutoff, uh, I mean, uh, based on the paper, it would be vary like uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. so it depends upon the paper. All right, I will discuss about that. Then next one is uh, phase two, paper one economics and social is issues. Uh, so it's completely uh, off of the paper is objective type and the remaining of is nothing but uh, descriptive type. So that paper one socio economics, economics and social issues, uh, 30 question, total 36 question, 30 question uh, objective type, uh, like uh, six question is a descriptive type. Among 30 questions, among 30 questions, 20 question is a 2 mark question and 10 question is a 1 mark question. So descriptive writing, they are given a 6, uh, uh, I mean a writing, I mean the 6 descriptive paper, I mean based on that 6 paper, so you have to choose any any 4, so that uh, you have to choose any 4, 
uh, each paper uh, like uh, 15 mark question, two paper, I mean, uh, uh, two question is 15 mark question and the remaining two question is uh, 10 mark questions. So total 100 marks. Then same whatever uh, they are given in the economics and social issues, uh, same thing general finance and uh, management, like same uh, 36 question totally, 36, uh, 30 question is objective type, 6 question is a descriptive paper, uh, same like uh, 20 questions, uh, 2 mark question, 10 mark, uh, 10, uh, 10 question is 1 mark question, descriptive paper among 6 you have to choose any 4, you have to choose any 4, so 2 questions, uh, 15 mark question and 2 question is uh, 10 mark questions. Right, same 100, uh, 100 uh, uh, marks. Here, economic, socio-economics issues, like economics and social issues, uh, in the objective type, they given 30 minutes of time, uh, remaining descriptive paper, 90 minutes of time. Among 120 minutes, 30 minutes for objective type, 30, 90 minutes for uh, uh, like a descriptive type, descriptive questions. Same general finance also, objective type of question, they provided 30 minutes. Uh, the rest of the paper, like uh, descriptive paper, they provided uh, 20 minutes of, I mean, uh, 90 minutes of time. Here, the descriptive paper, paper 2, English uh, descriptive paper, they asking uh, three level of uh, uh, paper, they given like three level of paper. The first one is pressure rating, and uh, second one is a descriptive writing, and third one is a comprehension, right. So, based on that, so that uh, they provided uh, 90 minutes of time, 100 questions. So, total 300 question. Main mark is very important because it's playing a vital role in the, I mean, interview. So that once you clear phase two, so you will be eligible for the third level. So third level, uh, it's an interview, uh, interview process. Uh, candidate will be shortlisted for the interview based on the aggregated mark obtained in phase two. So that uh, phase two, the paper one like uh, socio and economics, the paper two is descriptive and paper three is nothing but finance and management. So among these three paper, around uh, 300 marks is there, plus 75 marks, so we have a total 375 marks. In that 375 marks, you people are secure like 70 percentage, those who are secure 70 percentage more than mark, more than 70 percentage of the mark, they will be clear, uh, they, 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 will, they will get through the job, right. So these are the uh, uh, things. So interview, it's playing, uh, of course, uh, uh, mains examination is playing a vital role because if you are getting uh, more mark in mains examination, definitely you will be clear in the what uh, next level. So that the interview, interview also. The next one, last year cutoff. We have a last year cutoff and uh, before that uh, 2019 cutoff because 2019, when I compare to 2021, it's uh, drastically uh, reduced because uh, in 2021, 66.75 is the maximum cutoff. Actually, general cutoff is the maximum always. So that's what uh, 66 is the maximum cutoff here. So that uh, total cutoff is 66.75 uh, 2021. In 2019, 120 is the maximum cutoff. 120 is the maximum cutoff because uh, uh, in 2019, the paper was very easy when I compared to 2021. So whatever it is, even 66.75, this is out of 200 mark. So uh, students can get 200, out of 200, they secure only 66.75. So that much of difficulties, they are asking question, uh, I mean, when I compare to 2019. Because 2019, 120 is a cutoff. Of course, the paper was moderate. So when I seems like that uh, 66.75, uh, the paper was very difficult because uh, uh, student facing a more problem. Uh, the question is also very difficult, whether it is a general awareness question or uh, reasoning or math, uh, the, everything should be very difficult. That's what uh, the, the students get only 66.75. That is a minimum cutoff. Uh, once you cleared a minimum cutoff, you can, you are eligible for the second phase, right? So that uh, in general category, 66.75, AWS category, same, OBC category, 63.75, and uh, SCST category, 53.5 and 52.75. So these are the sectional cutoff. So what I said in the early uh, section, we have a sectional cutoff and we have a overall cutoff. So this is overall cutoff. Even general awareness out of 80, you must be secure like 16 marks. That's a, that is the sectional cutoff. Then after that reasoning, uh, 12 is the sectional cutoff. English language 6 is a minimum cutoff. So that's what I say how they are going to asking very difficult in English session because students getting out of 30 only 6 marks. Right. So then uh, aptitude. Aptitude, of course, uh, that is also 6 is a minimum cutoff. Right. Like if you want, to, if you attend like uh, just five, six or seven question, 
you will be secure like six question but the overall cutoff is 66 points on pi so that uh, you have to concentrate other part also right at the same time the consistency is very important so that uh, once you concentrate in the first uh, first paper like first session you have to concentrate in the all the session because overall you, you, have, you, have, you have to secure like 60 to 70 percentage of the mark like in the previous year 2019 paper was very easy because uh, uh, I mean the minimum cutoff is 120 so that's what uh, the level of difficulties is very important here uh, whenever the question paper is tough so you have to secure like 66 point uh, 75 so more than you have to secure more than 80 plus so whenever the paper uh, should be moderate so you have to secure more than 100 if the paper was very easy of course you have to secure more than 120 plus so these are the strategy to crack the preliminary examination right next one let's see uh, phase two phase two so those who are uh, clear phase one they are eligible for phase two examination in phase two total 300 marks because we have a uh, three papers in that three paper 300 marks in the last year cutoff one uh, i mean 2021 cutoff 187.75 so this is a general cutoff then after adding uh, interview mark so 252.25 is a uh, basic cutoff so those who are secured 252.25 they are eligible for uh, they are they, they will they will get through the job so they will get through the job 252.25 let's take the difference between 187.75 252 around you are getting 65 marks this 65 marks which is not secure in the interview so it is not impo impossible at all because out of 75 nobody is secure, secure like 65 so maybe uh, one or two person but not all the person so that uh, main mark is when, uh, very important that's what i said yearly so that main mark is a very important if you secure whatever the cutoff is given like in the main mark 187.75 if you secure like 210 or 215 definitely you will be uh, getting a job so definitely you will uh, you'll be getting a job and you will be getting you will be securing this mark very easily because uh, once you are getting interview uh, out of 75 if you are getting 40 marks or 50 marks that is more than enough because uh, you are uh, very good mark in uh, what the mains examination so that's what uh, i say so mains uh, examination uh, it's playing a vital role right so this is very important please note so thank you so we'll see the next session uh, we'll discuss about how to crack the examination what are the syllabus and strategy right okay thank you